There are actually three parts to this question. With the first part, we want to find dy dx and show that it is cotangent 1 over 2 theta. To do that, let's find dx d theta. dx d theta is going to be 1 minus cosine theta. Okay, then let's find dy d theta. dy d theta is going to be 0 minus minus sine theta, which is going to be equal to just sine theta. Okay, so dy dx which is going to be dy d theta divided by dx d theta. It is sine theta divided by 1 minus cosine theta. Wait, but what the question wants is for us to re-express this in terms of half theta. Wait, so to do that for the numerator, I'm going to make use of this identity. Sine 2a is equal to 2 sine a cosine a in order for me to change this to just some half half theta so it is 2 sine of half theta cosine of half theta divided by as for the denominator i'm going to make use of this to change the theta to half theta i'm going to make use of cosine 2 a is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square a it is tells me that 2 sine square a is equal to 1 minus cos 2a. So the denominator is going to be equal to 2 sine square of half theta. Okay, that is why what we have, what we're, what we're going to be left with here is going to be after the cancellation cosine half theta divided by sine half theta, okay, which is cotangent half theta. And this is what the question wants us to show. Next part of the question, we want to find dy dx with the gradient when theta is equal to pi. So when theta is equal to pi, dy dx it is equal to cotangent of half pi. Cotangent of half pi is 1 over tangent of half pi. Actually, tangent of half pi is, um, is going to be undefined. Where you can try to press your calculator, there's no solution. Or we can actually try to analyze it on our, the graph of tangent. If you can remember, tangent has two vertical asymptotes, and the vertical asymptotes are at minus pi over 2 and pi over 2. Okay, and the shape is going to be something like this. Okay, so pi over 2 is here when you know tangent pi over 2 it is going to shoot up all the way to positive infinity so i can visualize this okay as if it is okay let me draw the code here because this is just for our visualization it is like 1 over positive infinity that is why dy dx okay, it is actually going to become 0 okay, when theta is equal to pi okay, the last part of this is what is going to happen to the tangents when theta tends to 0 or when theta tends to 2 pi okay let's analyze the two scenario um, maybe for theta tending to 0, let's try to work it out here. So when theta tends to 0, when theta tends to 0, that means dy dx is going to tend to cotangent of um, 0, substituting into here, so cotangent 0, which means that it is going to tend to 1 over tangent of 0. Actually, tangent of 0 is... 0, which means that dy dx is going to tend to a undefined kind of value, which means that the tangent is going to be vertical because the gradient of that tangent is going to be undefined. Okay, that is why I'm going to say that the tangent, sorry, the tangent is going to be vertical. Okay, let's look at another scenario that is when theta tends to 2 pi. When theta tends to 2 pi, Okay, that means dy dx is going to tend to cotangent of half of 2 pi, so cotangent of pi, okay, which means that it is going to become 1 over tangent of pi. In fact, tangent of pi is also going to be 0. That is why dy dx okay, is also going to become undefined. Okay, so it is the same scenario as this. That is why the tangent okay, it is going to also going to be a uh, vertical line okay because only a vertical line will have dy dx as undefined